The symbols of ascension, including ladders, steps and wings. Introduction We have two videos on Ascension, the concept of Ascension video and this one. It may help to understand the concept before looking at all the symbols used to represent it. Of all the symbols, wings, denoting direct ascent, and ladders or stairs, denoting staged ascent, are the two most important. Corpus Hermeticum Hermes Trimagistus Womandras Section 24 The Ascent of the Soul And thus it is that man rises thereafter through the harmony, that is, the harmonious spheres of the planets. To the first zone, moon, he abandons the power of growth and decay. To the second, Mercury, return evil schemings, now de-energized. To the third, Venus, the illusions of desire, de-energized. To the fourth, Sun, the arrogance of power, de-energized. To the fifth, Mars, impious daring and presumption. To the sixth, Jupiter, the striving for wealth by evil means. And to the seventh zone, Saturn, ensnaring falsehood. And then, stripped of that which was given its energy by the harmony, and clothed in its proper power, he enters into the eighth sphere. Climbing a mountain. In this form of ascent, the initiate climbs the steep spiral path of a hill or mountain. See a video, Mountain and Hill. An example of this form of ascent can be found in Dante's Divine Comedy, a poem in three parts, written in the early 14th century. Purgatorio, Italian for purgatory, is the second part of Dante's Divine Comedy, following the Inferno and preceding the Paradiso. During this long and arduous ascent, Dante is guided by the poet Virgil. In the last four cantos of Purgatorio, Beatrice, the symbol of love and wisdom, takes over as Dante's guide. There are seven levels of suffering and spiritual growth corresponding, depending on your viewpoint, to either the planets or the seven deadly sins. In the Purgatorio, initiates are basically taught morals at numerous stages on the climb. As such, Virgil, representing logic, rhetoric and reasoning, discusses vice and virtues with Dante. The poem expands on the theory that all sins arise from love. Perverted love, deficient love, or the disordered or excessive love of good things. Ascending in a whirlwind. Elijah was the only Old Testament prophet who did not die but was said to have been taken up to heaven in a whirlwind 
literally, not figuratively. Even today, Jews are waiting for Elijah to return. An empty chair and a goblet of wine are set at the Passover feast table as a reminder of this belief. Kings 2, authorised King James Version. And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, here, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view far off, and they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, for I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Ascent via a horse and chariot. The use of the horse as a symbol of ascent is explored in our horse video. For example, the Ridge Veda, translated by Wendy Donager. When the horses reach the race course of the sky, your spirit rushes like wind, your mane, spread in many directions, flickers and jumps about in the forests. The swift runner has come to the highest dwelling place, to his father and mother. May he go to the gods today and be most welcome, and then ask for the things that the worshipper wishes for. Ladders, Stairs and Steps Those with ladders and stairs have a rather slow upward climb that involves more easily discerned stages and steps towards the goal than those seen when climbing the mountain. The Ladder of Augustine by Henry Wadsworth 
Longfellow. We have not wings, we cannot soar, but we have feet to scale and climb by slow degrees, by more and more the cloudy summits of our time. The mighty pyramids of stone that wedge-like cleave the desert airs, when nearer seen and better known, are but gigantic flights of stairs. The distant mountains that uprear their solid bastions to the skies are crossed by pathways that appear as we to higher levels rise. The heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight. But they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. Rope, Thread and Chains The ones using ropes, threads or worse chains have to have assistance from above and occasionally below and are always having to pull themselves up by sheer hard work against the gravity of the pull to the earth, the physical. It means the person is much more attuned to the world of physical perceptions and the physical and is not naturally a spiritual traveller. If they make it, it will only be through sheer force of will and perseverance. Wings and Flight Wings, in general symbolism, signify a spiritual being. Thus immortals may also have wings, and the number of wings and their size may indicate their power. Francis Thompson, from the Kingdom of God The angels keep their ancient places, turn but a stone and start a wing, tis ye Tis your estranged faces that miss the many splendid thing. Given that the intelligence hierarchy has thousands and thousands of angels, archangels and so on, then all would be symbolically winged. The celestial hierarchies of Dionysius the Arapagite. The holy prophet, Isaiah, saw in the sacred vision the sixfold wings of the first intelligences and beheld their many feet and many faces and perceived that their eyes and their feet were covered by their wings and that their middle wings were in ceaseless movement. But we must remember that wings are entirely symbolic. Reverend Robert Stephen Hawker Angels have no wings, not a single feather. Whensoever in the Old Testament or the New Testament they actually appear, they are expressly said to be young men in white garments. Wings, moreover, are to me destructive of all poetry of motion from place to place. They imply effort. In effect, anyone symbolically winged is either already a spiritual being or is capable of having spiritual experiences with little difficulty. So the symbolism of wings, for example, covers anyone able to have out-of-body experiences or one who has had a near-death experience. But although they may be able to go out of body and in fact travel all over the shell of the cosmic egg near the earth level, they may not be able to ascend. Corpus Hermeticum 11 Consider this for yourself. Command your soul to travel to India and it will be there faster than your command. Command it to cross over to the ocean, and again it will be quickly there. 
not as having passed from place to place, but simply as being there. Command it even to fly up to heaven, and it will not lack wings. Nothing will hinder it, not the fire of the sun, nor the ether, nor the swirl, nor the bodies of the other stars. Cutting through them all, it will fly to the utmost body.